If I wasn't the mother of a four-year-old daughter, probably these poems wouldn't have come about. The two poems that I'm going to read out of the three. The Wait. She waits for her daughter's one and a half year to end. That was when a toddler was rung by a telephone wire dead. She waits for three to end. That was when a girl was found off a seaside like bloated wreckage. She will wait for eight to end. When the daughter of a famous singer paddling alone in a pool drowned for 27. When a boy migrant in a foreign land died alone or she doesn't remember what. She will keep all spare keys for emergencies, for when her daughter learns to drive, for when she would go elsewhere to live. She tells her of friends who turn killers with rage or jealousies and readies her for age-related, age-unrelated, gender-related, gender-unrelated, human-related, human-unrelated catastrophes. Teaching her the name of her apartment building, her parents' name, her religion, her sexual organ. Making her repeat a thousand times, this is mine and no one can touch it. This is mine and no one can touch it. This is mine and no one can touch it. This is mine and no one can touch it. She lays out the plan of danger and dangerous men with a tag. You will come running to Mama, go nowhere else. But this is only so much she can do. Danger is like good luck, like love, like epiphany, like inspiration. It can strike anywhere, anytime, anyhow. The dark always chooses a new way of expression in an award-winning way. 